My name is Jose Carlos Garcia Rosel. I'm a senior lecturer at the Multidimensional Tourism Institute, MTI, University of Lapland, Rovaniemi, Finland. This pres in this presentation, I will talk about a multi stakeholder perspective on sustainable tourism management research and education. So, a brief outline about this presentation. First, I will give some background information about the study. Then, so the, I will talk about the aim of the study. And then I will discuss briefly the theoretical framework I uh, use in this particular research. And in, in this study, I have two different cases, one focus, focusing on research and the other one of, on education. I will uh, discuss the educational case that is about problem-based learning, PBL. And then I will conclude with some final remarks. The study and teaching of sustainable tourism management has been grounded in the basic premises of neoclassical economics. Sustainability is discussed in terms of a strategy to enhance the innovativeness, competitiveness, and market performance of tourism organizations. The stakeholder approach taken in sustainable tourism management is highly reductionist and rational in nature. While reductionism is reflected in the belief that sustainability can be approached uh, from uh, the perspective from, uh, of a single organization, uh, rationalism uh, is reflected in the extensive uh, reliance on technical, scientific, and managerial expertise to approach environmental and social issues. So we can we can so in here we can see that uh, sustainable tourism management is embedded within the managerial discourse. Uh, the managerial discourse shape uh, the way we uh, think and talk about sustainability within a tourism management context. It also shape our identity as uh, sustainable tourism management researchers and educators. In doing so, it may also exclude other ways of knowing, other ways of making sense, talking, thinking, and understanding sustainability between a tourism management context. When I, for example, when I give to my students, uh, I present the, a picture of an old growth forest and I ask them to uh, discuss it in terms of sustainable tourism. Uh, the first thing they think about are uh, competitive advantage, business opportunity, customer satisfaction, service quality, product development, market growth. So then we see how the managerial discourse actually shaped the way they approach the forest. Uh, and, and then we see also how maybe other aspects of sustainability are left out, so like the spiritual, environmental, social, political, cultural, or aesthetic aspect. Uh, the aim of this study is to introduce a framework that allow using sustainability as a threshold concept for critically evaluating the assumptions embedded in both tourism management theory and practice. As a threshold concept, sustainability represents a conceptual gateway that not only leads us uh, tourism management educators and, and researchers towards previous inaccessible ways of understanding the relationship between business, society, and the natural environment, but also invite us into new ways of acting and relating in the tourism world. In this uh, theoretical and methodological framework, I, I use three theoretical concepts. The first one is multi-stakeholder thinking. By multi-stakeholder thinking, I mean an analytical perspective on the sociocultural production of meaning and values through discourses and practices that are available in a particular time and space. This leads us to the concept of meaning and discourse that uh, uh, draw attention to the fact that sustainability have different, can, have, can have different meanings. And these meanings are the result of different social discourses that can be used to make sense of sustainability. And here we see that managerial, the managerial discourse is only one of these uh, among other discourses in society. 
Then we have the concepts of tourism ethics. And this also reflect the fact that uh, ethics is not uh, a singular um, subject. It, it is not only, there, there is not only one ethical theory that uh, determine the sustainability of an action or a situation. Actually, there are many different uh, ethical theories or moral philosophies that can be used uh, to uh, make sense of sustainability. And these uh, ethical theories may also shape the different social discourses that are used to talk about sustainability in a tourism management context. But last but not least, we have action research as a methodology that can help uh, educators and researchers to reflect on their doings and sayings in uh, a tourism management context. Here a kind of example <coughs> about how the framework can be applied in practice. And this example focus on an educational case uh, in which I was trying to use PBL to promote uh, sustainability learning. The idea was to help students uh, to uh, acquire, uh, get sustainability knowledge through uh, business decision making simulations that include social and environmental goals. But to the process of action and reflection, I soon realized uh, that the student, students were struggling over the meaning of sustainability. Also, I realized that uh, in the classroom, there were traces of why discursive structures, ideologies, and power relations uh, in the learning process, and how the managerial approach to sustainability was silencing stakeholder voices, ideologies, realities, and meanings that were not legitimated within the managerial discourse. And that is the interesting thing here was that actually it was not uh, me, the teacher, that was actually only silencing these stakeholder voices, but also students when they were in the classroom of a tourism management school, they were actually they thought that in this space uh, they should sing as a tourism manager, and other identities or way of thinking are not allowed. And they themselves they were suppressing on their other voices they were represented. For example, we think uh, that a tourism management student, they, he, he or she could be uh, also a single mother, a politician, employee, uh, an environmental activist. Um, but these voices were not brought into the classroom. Actually, through this, uh, this framework helped uh, me to understand that I could use these voices to help students to get a better understanding of sustainability and to challenge the basic premises of uh, tourism management. So in, uh, in this study, I'm not kind of calling against the managerial discourse. Uh, this is more or less a call for a plurality of discourses, meanings, and ethical theories in sustainable tourism management research and education. I see sustainability as an opportunity to evaluate and redefine our identities and role as tourism management researchers and educators. So thank you for your attention.